Hi, welcome. We're back. Maybe I just show you what I'm doing at in the back end. A template is an empty thing without any hard disk in it. This is a uh, clone from it, right mouse click, clone. I've installed li the latest Arch Linux on it. Then I cloned it again, and this is the updated version. And this one is going to be an updated version with LibreOffice on it. And then I can copy paste this one, clone it again, and put OpenOffice in it, on it, and clone it again and put something else on it. So it doesn't, it's not going to intervene with the installation. So really, well, that's the workflow I, I was thinking about of using. So we are going to boot this guy up. This uh, the intention intention is to have an Arch Linux. It's updated and we don't have LibreOffice yet. So how do we get it? But before I do, I'm going to set everything up. So this video is about setting things up. Let's choose another wallpaper. Otherwise, all my videos will be the same background. <laughs> That's not nice. Right, setting things up. Well, setting things up couldn't be easier if you know a little bit about Git and Git clone. That's those two words are the only words you need to know. That's not that difficult, right? So let's, I don't think, right. Okay, some more tips in this video. Searching is not done with Bing. It's done as default with Google. Set as default search. Done. Better. So GitHub, well, actually, how would you look for it? Arco Linux and remember the word Nemesis. Okay. Arch Linux Nemesis. No, Arch Linux Nemesis. So you get to the right URL. It's on GitHub. Remember that. And then you need to clone it. So Git clone this thing. Download zip is interesting for you. It's not interesting for me. And I recommend you learn about the GitHub because it, it, it can be your backup. It can all your scripts, put your, make your scripts, put them online. And every clean install, you get them back just like I do right now. You click on this button, you go to, I have a structure by this time, and I say right mouse click, create folder, data, and in data, I'm gonna git clone it, open terminal. So the only thing you need to know is Arch Linux Nemesis, start with that one, lots of work went to it, copy paste, reuse, it's all for you guys, git clone, control shift V, and it's in. Why am I doing this? Because my work that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna do for you guys and for myself, because I wanna learn as well, how to install all these office suits. There are lots of them out there. You've seen maybe the first video. So it's a series, one, two, three, four. So then I intention is that it builds up and it will give you more information as usual. There will be tips in there uh, about other things. This AUR contains already software and I'm gonna improve my own scripts here. So it installs a lot of stuff. You start reading all these names. It installs lots of stuff and lots of interesting, uh, interesting stuff that people say to me, I was never able to install VirtualBox, but thanks to the script of Eric here on the Nemesis, it works. That's the point. Whatever knowledge I'll find online on Arch Wiki, that's always the place to go. Then we put it in a script. Once it, we figured it out, we write it down. It's it's written in stone and we run and we run and we run till it breaks. And then make a version two, version three. We fixed it again and it works again. And it keeps on working after every clean installation. The only thing you need to say, run script X and you walk away and everything will be installed. So what do I see in here? Is there LibreOffice in here? We need to stick to the office, guys. Inksy is not in here. Uh, it's, uh, LibreOffice is not in here. I thought it was. Must have mislooked somewhere or not. Anyway, if it's not, we're gonna make it, but... Doesn't seem to be, right? So what you always can do is start from from the, the, the script that we have already and take a look. 
Now I'm just gonna check because I'm a little bit find it strange. Arco Linux LibreOffice. Let's see what Google finds. How to install LibreOffice the proper way? So there's already something, and I added here these things, but it might be that's just here and it's not on a script. So I have my information already a little bit from here. Okay, um, that said, let's make one script that we say this is going to be the template for our script. So this is not, we're not going to install LibreOffice. I'm going to learn at this point in time making a template for my future scripts for all Office packages. Let's have a look. You open it with, that's always a choice. With what application will you open it? It's up to you. I particularly like Atom. It takes longer, but it is just nicer and gives lots of coloring here. So this is okay. Set minus E means if there's an error, stop. So for a beginning script that we need to test out, it's probably best that we leave this one in. But if you have like 10, 30 programs, probably applications, and one of them, well, the second one, for instance, has an error, then, then the 18 other, the 18 other will not be installed. And there's nothing wrong with it. So sometimes it's, it's necessary to just put a hashtag in front of it so it runs uh, the 18 others and not stops. So there's a package, Inksy is going to check the application package already installed, install it with yay, install it with Tryzen. Now let's get rid of Yahoot. Let's clean this up. Yahoot is out guys. I've been helping people out saying, no, stop using Yahoot, please. It's finished. Stop using it. So that's that. If then else, if then else, if then, and we stop with if do we have one if it's okay right and then again an if and an else and an if i think it's okay we'll see we'll test it out so less structure less less uh, stuff to to maintain so we only need yay we only need tries and the rest was already uh, not anymore used but was still in the code so install Xe is being cleaned up as well. So remember, the Xe is the one that is now good for our code. Control C, Control V, and then we go ahead. We just write it here because actually the video should be at an end here. We have something available. It's right here. It says what we need to install. Up here, it's called LibreOffice Fresh, Control C. We open it up. And the only thing that this code needs is what package do I need to install? That's it, basically. Just stop here. So if Pacman has this package, then you say, all right, Pacman's, it has already been installed. You get this message. If it's not installed, then you're, if yay exists, yes, yay is installed. Okay, then you install it with yay and then it stops. If yay was deleted for something, then it will use Tryzen. And then it's going to recheck, is everything installed? So Pacman is going to be asked, hey, is it existing? Do you have it? Do you know it? Yes, I have it. Or otherwise you get these strange remarks and then we know something is wrong and it's not installed. That's the idea of the script. Okay, maybe one thing, last thing. I took the name now from uh, the website there, but we just go and type it in and then we figure out what the name is. And it says here, LibreOffice dash fresh, right? It's not the way I typed it. He is going to give all the possibilities with the name. So LibreOffice dash fresh is ready. We are ready, our script is ready. We need to just figure out now in the next video about LibreOffice, what do we need to have a fully functional LibreOffice? All right.